All right, everybody. Uh, this time we're in for chapter two, section six. We are on, gosh, what are we on now? Ratios, rates, and conversions. Section six of chapter two deals with ratios, rates, and conversions. Now, a ratio, let's clarify, is just a comparison of two numbers using division, but you won't always see it written with division. Uh, this is an example of a statement that can be turned into a ratio, and to some degree is a ratio in and of itself. $25 for two shirts, you could rewrite that as $25 for two shirts. That's a ratio because it's made into a fraction. You could write $25 colon two shirts. Um, that's a little bit abnormal in this kind of setting with labels and units and so on. Or you could write it to some degree essentially just like it is here. Now that's a ratio and it gives you information about how one thing relates to the other. If I have $25, I have two shirts or I can buy two shirts. You can also turn this into a unit rate if you want. And a unit rate is simply a ratio, just like I have here, but with a denominator of one. So for example, if I have 25 over two, I could divide 25 by two and get 12.5 over one, and then I'll add my units back in. That would be dollars. This would be shirts or shirt. So the unit rate would be $12.5 per one shirt. So, and this is a pretty useful thing. You'll see that with, you know, in the grocery stores and gas stations and so on. The next piece deals with rates. Now a rate is, well, rates and conversions are gonna go together. What I'd like to do is kind of tie them together and show you how I can turn one unit for, in this case, the unit is minutes, and turn it into a different unit. Now I picked something relatively easy, uh, minutes into seconds. In your textbooks, uh, Google, anywhere you wanna look, you can find conversion rates and conversion factors. Um, conversion units that you might need. But what I wanted to show you here is based on one that we probably all know, 60 seconds equals one minute. What I notice here is that I have this minutes needs to turn into this seconds and I have a I have a rule or a conversion rate that tells me how to get from one to the other. I know that this many minutes equals this many seconds and down here kind of the kind of the, the similar version, but with the units switched around, seconds and minutes, I want to turn seconds into minutes. I can use the same rule here, all right? So here we go. With four, I'll actually switch colors. With four minutes equals how many seconds, um, what I'll do is I'll take four minutes, I'm gonna multiply, because that's what I typically do, and I'm gonna try to multiply by a uh, ratio. Now, the trick here is that I have minutes, and if you wanna think of minutes as on the top or in the numerator, I need to get rid of minutes and convert it into seconds. So this minutes that's here right now needs to go away, which means I need to put it on the bottom in order for me to be able to cancel it out. So when I look at my rule that says one minute is 60 seconds, I'm gonna put the one minute there, and on the other side, I'm gonna put 60 seconds. And what you'll notice is the minutes have already been canceled. The only unit that I have left is seconds, which means as far as the units go, I'm all done. Now I just need to do the math. So I do numerator times numerator, 240 seconds. On the bottom, the denominators actually have no units, so I just do one times one is one. I'm not gonna write divided by one to save a little bit of time, and I've answered the question. Four minutes equals 240 seconds. Now you might be tempted sometimes always just to multiply by 60 in an example like this one, but this would clearly not give you that same setup. So watch how I'm gonna take the same idea and apply it to a different question. I have 60 seconds. Oh, I have too many S's. So I have 60 seconds, or sorry, four seconds, and I wanna convert it into minutes, which means I'm gonna use multiplication, put it over one, and I need another fraction, but I don't want seconds. I want minutes. So I'm gonna put seconds down here. I'm gonna put minutes on the top, because that's what I want, and my seconds will again cancel out, which is what I wanted. And I'm gonna use the rule over here that I already knew, one minute and 60 seconds. So I fill it in and notice how it's opposite or the reciprocal of what I used originally. It's the same rule, I'm just using it differently. Now the only unit that remains is minutes, that's what I wanted, so now I'm ready to just do the math. Numerator times numerator is four, denominator times denominator is 60, um, and I'll simplify this, four over 60 is one over 15. So it's 1 15th of a minute. And that's how many four, uh, minutes four seconds are, 1 15th of a minute. Now that takes care of the ratio, that takes care of rates. 
rates typically only use one rule. That's what separates them from conversions. Now when we get to conversions, we're going to get to a question that looks a little bit more complex. In this one it says 75 cents an hour, maybe it's a, I don't know, a raise. And you want to know how many dollars per day that is. Now we have two things going on here. First, we have cents per hour. I'm going to rewrite this the way that you might see it uh, if I were handwriting this question. I wrote it originally how you might see it in a textbook. And I'm going to convert it into um, dollars. I'm going to leave some space for my number. Dollars per day. Now what you'll notice here is I have two things I need to work with. I need to get cents to turn into dollars. I need to get hours to turn into days. Now in this case, I know two rules. I know 100 cents equals one dollar. I'm abbreviating here. And I know that one hour, let's see, I know that 24 hours equals one day. Since there's two D's, I'll write one of them out and I'll leave the other one as dollars. Now, if I know these, I'm in great shape. I'm going to need both of these conversion factors to turn this into this. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 75 cents in one hour, and I'm going to attack the first value on top first. It doesn't really matter that you pick the top or the bottom, but I'll just pick the top one. Which means I want to turn cents, which is on the numerator, into dollars. And here's my conversion factor for that. So I'm going to go back to the plan I used on the last page. I need to get rid of cents. So I'll put cents opposite so that I can cancel it out. And 100 goes with cents and one dollar or one dollar goes here. Now you'll notice that the numerator now has the only unit of dollars, which is good. Don't worry about the fact that this is singular and this is plural, that doesn't matter. In the denominator, I had hours, I want days, I still have hours. So now I need to address this one. Now I'm not gonna do a separate piece of math I'm just going to add on another conversion factor, but now I'm going to attack this guy. So hour needs to go away, so I go opposite of that, so that on the bottom and on the top I can cancel out the word hour. The rule that I'm working from, 24 hours, once again, don't worry about the plural or not, 24 hours is one day. Now look what we have as far as units go. The only unit that's on the top that hasn't been canceled out is dollar, which is what we wanted. The only unit on the bottom that hasn't been canceled out is day. That's what we want. So now we're done with our conversion factors. I'm going to cross them out only to indicate that we've used them up and we don't need them again. That doesn't mean they're wrong. Now we just do the math. So 75 cents times 1 is 75. 75 times 24 is, I don't know, whatever 75 times 24 is. It looks like it's $1,800 because that's the unit. And on the bottom, I have 1 times 100 times 1. That's 100. And the unit is days. And usually at this point, you'll have to do some simplifying. What I observe here is that we can divide both of these by 100. I notice that because I see the zeros. And then I see another pair of zeros on the end I can cross off, which means without using a calculator, I can break it down to $18 in one day. And now I've converted my 75 cents an hour into how many dollars per day. I can write down $18 per day. And that takes you through section 2-6.